It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. For the last month or so, it seems as though I've been going down this sort of pipeline with these sort of crazy stories that's been going on within the LGBT movement. Of course, the most famous example, of course, on my channel was the fact that the Washington Post actually advocated for children to be exposed to kink. I also criticized the concept of rainbow capitalism on my channel, and I also criticized the idea of exposing kids to drag queen on my channel too. And so naturally, of course, I could not possibly think it would get worse from here on out. I mean, obviously, of course, I thought that the whole entire idea of actually advocating children to be exposed to kink was super terrible. But even that, of course, is now being toppled by two videos I'm going to show you guys in regards to musicals. Now, the first musical is not so bad because it comes directly from Spain. It's just cringy, but not, you know, going after your children kind of bad. Now, this one was produced by the Spanish Ministry of Equality, and the title literally translates to a straight, binary, hetero, patriarchal world. Now, the whole entire song has that lyrics throughout the whole entire thing, so I am not going to put any sort of subtitles for that video because that's literally what it translates to. And so, without further hesitation, I'll present to you guys the song in its entirety. <laughs> I find it so interesting like a lot of the people nowadays complain about some sort of cis patriarchal world when in reality of course most of humanity is like you know 90 what 98% 97% of humanity is born straight and so without straight people there wouldn't necessarily be any sort of gay people around so yes being straight in society is the norm. Now, it's not a bad thing or a good thing, it's just how things are. And so, of course, all gay people also come directly from straight people. So without straight people, there wouldn't be any type of gay people. So it's not necessarily a good idea to demonize someone just because of their sexuality. Ironically, of course, the gay movement, when it was originally created, was actually fighting against those who, you know, discriminate other people based upon their own personal sexuality. So fighting fire with fire does not help anybody in the slightest. And it's so funny, like, you know, Spanish tax dollars are actually being wasted by this type of musical right here because, honestly, it's like super cringe. Insanely cringe. Not only that though, but the whole line about being a patriarchy is curious because like in Spain, they have at least four different women vice presidents as I speak right now. Four different women vice presidences. And not only that, they have the Ministry of Equality. Again, more women who want to promote feminism into the government. And so what is actually preventing women to be whatever they want? And not just Spain, but like in any sort of Western society. Because women can vote, they can get whatever job they want to, they get paid the same wages like men. So, what kind of patriarchy would actually allow women to actually succeed in life? Now the next song I'm going to respond to is more creepy. Like, it's actually on the same level as that Washington Post article that I read the other day. This song, of course, is called basically, from what I gather, it's like we're converting your children. I found this whole entire video on like Twitter, and it's perhaps the most creepy 
most pedophilic sting I possibly have ever seen. And so, without further hesitation, let's watch the video together. The lyrics for this song is very strange to me. For starters, the whole entire idea of conversion kind of implies some sort of cult relationship or religion. Now normally in cults and religions like the members want to, you know, try their hardest to convince people to necessarily join their ideology that they're trying to preach. And that's how many of the world religions today have been, you know, have many members because they spread the good word of their holy text or their doctrine to share with people. And so it seems as though by saying we're converting your children, to me it kind of implies that they have their own personal ideology, their own personal agenda to make kids into gay people, if I'm interpreting it right. Again, if I'm interpreting it entirely wrong, Please tell me in the comment section down below because I want to be corrected, of course. But that's what I got from the lyrics, that they want to make kids gay. You know, the main argument that I heard a lot from like these sort of positive like activists is that people are born a certain way and that they're wired differently in comparison to other people. And I think that's true. Like, I think, of course, like, when people are born straight, it's because they're wired that way. It's the same reasoning why trans people are born that way, because they're actually wired to be, you know, someone else. And so, I think, of course, people are, in fact, wired differently. And so, to apply that logic to sexuality makes a lot of sense to me. But at the same time, though, it's just so strange that they think, of course, they need to turn their kids gay when a lot of these people, too, also argue that being gay is not a choice. And like in the past, there were like various people, many of these Christian people in the past, arguing that being gay is a choice, and this song pretty much confirms their own personal superstitions. It is just weird. All this is sort of weird. Like a lot of these arguments of, you know, slippery slope is coming to fruition. Because like a lot of these people not hiding it anymore. They're not hiding it at all. And so I think every last person in that song who sung it out loud about coming to convert your children, they need to be some sort of, you know, list or whatever. Like, you know, for sexual predators, or whatever. Because honestly, that is creepy. That's actually really creepy that they will openly say in public in a song that they want to convert your children to become gay. That's weird. That is like super weird. But anyway, those are the two music I'm going to react to for this video. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.
It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. 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 It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.